She does get a job. She might not get a man's salary, but she had no trouble getting HIV. The face of AIDS is changing. Young women and men are increasingly being infected, and there's still no cure. It's an equal opportunity virus, but it's just not fair. The Canadian AIDS Society reminds you that when it comes to AIDS, we're all affected. All right, we're charming. You're jamming to CHMR 93.5. Unfortunately not, I do not. Oh, okay. I, I, I couldn't, something is not working here today, so I, I can't get our usual promos, so that's why you'll notice that yeah. there's, there's no screaming during the commercial break. <laughs> the, I like uh, the screaming. But, um, yeah, yeah, so we wanted, we, what do you think of the look of the console? It's big. It's a big console. It's I'd big. say it's about the size of the PlayStation 3. Like the like yeah. the the original like one. The, the, yeah, the old I, I don't 3, I don't know because like, the new one the the slightly smaller PlayStation. Oh, it's smaller. 3. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a more noticeably smaller for me because yeah. I had the original PlayStation, then I jumped to the vastly new one. Yeah, and, and luckily like, they're Whoa. they're they're paired side by side in your house. Yeah, they're right next to each yeah. other. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the, it's it's a bigger system, but I think we'll then like three years into the consoles run, we'll be seeing a slim version. Yeah, aesthetically so. though, like what's you like the look? It's, it's I mean, sleek. Yeah, it's pretty. It's, it, I like the yeah. look. It's it's it's. To me, it looks like a more update, a more advanced version of the Xbox 360 Slim, which I thought was an excellent looking right, console. Yeah. Um, it no longer has that really stupid curve that the Xbox 360 had, which made mm. it impossible to stack on other systems because yeah. that was an that was an absolute d- disastrous design flaw. That was and is still a problem with the PlayStation. The fact that yeah, it, has a it curve curves. On top. Yeah, the uh, that that needs to be fixed. Yeah, that's not also did you, uh, the new PlayStation. I didn't know this until I went over to my dad's house the other day. Yeah, uh, and he has one, um, and instead of ejecting the disc. It's like one of those old CD players. You slide it over and take out the disc and then slide it back. Oh, so, and oh, okay. It's, it's weird. It's, it's really weird, and it, it makes me really uncomfortable because I have, like, no confidence <laughs> in, like, the stability of that. Because it's just plastic, right? Yeah. Like, it feels like it's going to break in your hand. But I like the look of the system. Also, because I've seen so many bad-looking systems. Yeah. Because we, we got to see... Um, I've never really understood the Steam Box because no one's ever been able to successfully explain to me which Steam Box was the Steam Box. Yeah. Because apparently there are multiple Steam Boxes. I- I've seen a Steam Box that looks similar to, like, a PlayStation. I've seen a Steam Box that looks like something that the Dewars made and, yeah. and, you know, could run the USS Enterprise, so... The Steam Box I saw looked like an air conditioner. Yeah, that's and the one, I that's hated the one I'm talking Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, better not, I think that must be... Uh, hopefully that's a prototype, and by hopefully I mean yeah. that... I hope that's the system because if not, then I'm going to be sad because I'm going to put all the others out of business. The problem is, is that Valve doesn't tell anybody anything. Thing. No, like, like it'll call. It could, it could be out today, and nobody would know. And they're just like, "Oh, hey guys, we Steam released what? this." Yeah, they're they're gonna let us know on Steam. Yeah, and then and then the hordes of geeks will assault Best Buy with axes and things. The, uh, um. So yeah. Um. No use games. That's uh, well. Yeah. The the use is games pain. Is, is interesting. Uh. I. I did not hear. I, I did not I, see mention of that in the conference itself. Now maybe I I'm gonna it say it's a pain now. It's uh, they, they released a statement after. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say it's a pain now. In five years, we're gonna be so glad. It's going because I think, it's, as I understand the system, yeah. the game is linked to your account. Yeah. Right. So hopefully they do it smart and go the way of Steam, which is that you download the game. But and the benefit of that is that games get cheaper faster. Yeah. Right. Because they're not on hardware. Yeah. Uh. So that's like that's the real hope I have. If whether they're smart enough to do that, is another. Case. I, mean, I think they have, have to focus. That's what we were saying yesterday. Um, Valve often leads the leads the industry. Yeah. I hope that I hope that this is the case. I, I feel like Microsoft. Whatever. At the end of the day, Microsoft isn't run by idiots. I mean, everybody said, "Oh, it's going to always be online, and it's going to ruin gaming." Well, it's not always going to be online. They after the disaster of Diablo three last year, and then this year with uh, Sim City, yeah. they realized that not always online is a bad idea. And not only did they do that, but they tremendously upped. They have what three hundred thousand servers or something. Five hundred. Five. Uh, I got. I have the stats here. Uh, they have a tremendous amount of servers. Yeah, there's a lot of servers because they're going to do. Hopefully, the idea is that they're doing dedicated servers. Yeah, that's for what, all their uh, games, especially for yeah. games like Halo. That's which what, does, what Wired reported. I think was that they were probably going to do dedicated servers. Yeah, that's the hope. Now, dedicated servers are totally the way of the future. I've been saying this for years that yeah. Call of Duty needs to do dedicated servers, and they haven't. Now, he, this is what dedicated servers are because there some, might be some people out there. Yeah, you're right. Control. No, yeah. Um, when you're when you're playing online games like Call of Duty or Halo or something like that, uh, usually what they'll do is they'll pick one guy playing the game to host the game, and so you're all kind of playing 
on his system, like you're using his system as like yeah. uh, to to run everything. The problem with that is, what happens if that guy leaves? The game stops and there's host migration and it takes yeah. like anywhere from thirty. Or what minutes. if that guy lives in? Holly, uh, you know Hawaii or something. Yeah, or where there's a bad <laughs> connection. It, it it's a lot of problems. So w- Battlefield, I believe, had dedicated servers. Battlefield and Resistance one. Uh, what what this means is that um, the host or the, the the there's no no players. The host is so there's a dedicated server. That means there's very little lag, and yeah. there's very little um, in the way of uh, there's no host migration. So everyone gets to play the same level game. There's it just it's just a better way of going about it. More expensive at the beginning, yes. but will benefit the game in the long run. Well, exactly. That's why people people still play Battlefield. All the battlefields. Yeah, there's a ton. Especially 1942. Yeah, 1942. Yeah. It, um, it amazes me that people were still playing that because that was. IGN's game of the year only seven trillion years ago. Yeah. Um, but yeah, dedicated servers are a great idea. That was the reason. Like, a lot of people weren't crazy about Resistance One. Uh, critics loved it, but you know, ordinary people were less receptive. Yeah. Um, but the reason it was good and stayed good for as long as it did, I think, is because dedicated servers. Yeah. Because you could go on and play at any time, and it was great. Yeah. Um, there are no. You, you had a big problem with Battle uh, Bad Com- Black Ops Two. Sorry, I, Call I, of Duty Black yeah. Ops Two. Uh, for the for this very reason, because there was a tremendous because I don't know if it was just on the PlayStation version. I would imagine it was the same for the Xbox 360 version mm-hmm. that the, there was a tremendous amount of lag and host migration and things like that. Exactly, it was it was just driving me insane. That's why I don't play Call of Duty anymore. Uh, and Call of Duty, like they, I think it was it was before Black Ops around the time of that. Yeah, uh, you mean the first one, the first Black Ops? Okay, yeah. when the people like fans like demanded, you know, no. That's wrong. It's, it was before Modern Warfare 3. Fans were demanding dedicated servers, and they said no, and they said it would cost too much. Look, Call of Duty is one of the most, you know, lucrative franchises right in now, video Right now, it games. is the it, most It is lucrative. the most. It, yeah. it, right, you're right. And uh, that it's, is... When your game does better than the Avengers, yeah. you can have dedicated servers. Activision, you can have dedicated servers. You're making more money than... than BP is making an oil <laughs> right now. Yeah, it's, no, it's, they're, it's, they're making an insane amount of money. They're making a killing, and they've always made a killing, and they've... Pun intended. But they've... Uh, oh. <laughs> they, they, they've, uh, <laughs> uh, but they've never been able to keep it up. Activision was the same company. Let's not forget. Uh, um, Activision was the same company who did the Tony Hawk games, which were amazing for, like, the first six. Yeah. And then they just gave up, yeah. it seemed, for the last bunch. And did, they, did they also do Guitar Hero? Uh, did Activision do? I don't know. I was never a big Guitar Hero guy, so I'm not sure. I'll, I'll check that now. But I think they did. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. This is what they. Did. Well, I, oh, if that's the case, then Guitar Hero did exactly the same thing. Uh, the that's that's precisely what happened. Churn out as many games as possible and ruin them. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what Activision does best, unfortunately, which is a shame because they're when they start off. Yeah, with it, games, was it was Activision. It was Activision yeah. figures. Uh, when they start off with games or or that when they release a big one, it's great. Call of Duty Four, great. Yeah. Uh, Tony Hawk, all the first five or six, great. Uh, Guitar Hero two, I'm ne- again, two and three, two were and good. three. Yeah. I wasn't a big Guitar Hero guy, but those were awesome. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, they need to they need to fix that. Yeah. Uh, and, but if if Xbox is if you're listening, dedicated... Activision, then take our advice. Exactly. To, to yeah. a mathematician and a poli sci student. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We're, we're the we're the future of your company. If um, <laughs> if they if they are, they're switching now, hopefully to to dedicated servers, that would be great. If Call of Duty was able to move. You know, with the times for once, because Call of Duty advances. You know, their snails pace over there. Yeah, like that's what they do. Uh, okay, one of the things that was announced at this X, getting back to the Xbox. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they announced. Okay, we'll talk. About, we'll talk about this a little bit because, but um, but uh, and a little bit later. But they did. They did a lot of. They're doing a lot of cool stuff with TV. They're doing a lot of cool stuff with music. Uh, with internet browsing, and we'll get back into that. But for uh, can we talk about games for a little bit? We can absolutely talk about games. Okay, there were seven games announced for this system, um, and f- six of them, six of the seven, we knew were coming out. There was Forza Five. We knew there was going to be a sequel to Forza because it's one of the Xbox's biggest, you know, selling system. It's a good game. It's a good game. Yeah, Forza is a good game. There were four EA sports games. There was FIFA, Madden, UFC, and the baseball one. M- it, it MLB. MLB. Uh, it is. It is 
very hard to describe how much Adam doesn't like sports games. Yeah. Like, it's... <laughs> I think it's apt there the same how fish don't like deserts and right. plants don't like fire. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. It's it's all up there. So I was not... So I remember during the press conference, I was watching it with my cousin, and they said, and now we're going to be having... And now we're going to hand it 